All right, we've got a stall and the decline in Bitcoin as it trades inside day and is on, is on track to close strong relative to the day's range near the high of the day, leading to a potential bounce. So we broke down from the bull wedge that had been previously identified with this lower line here clearly, and we closed below it. So that is negated as of now. And we tested this, just almost tested this zone. This uh, first support zone around 56,150. The low was 56,500. So it got pretty close and it may still drop down and test it again. But right now it looks like if we break out above today's high of 59,588 or whatever it is by the end of the day or the end of the session, then we could get a bounce up into test the 20 moving average once more, which is at 63,500 along with this downtrend line. You can see that this downtrend line and the 20 have merged together, converged together, strengthening the resistance potentially uh, around that area, as well as making a breakout more significant if it does occur. A breakout would occur above this high here of 64,728 at this point in time. Now, we found support at a low yesterday of 56,500, which is right around this uh, I previously identified support zone with a couple Fibonacci level, or I'm sorry, one Fibonacci level, the 50% retracement, and the completion of this ABCD pattern, which is as an extended CD leg by 127.2%. That is right around this uptrend line. Now, this uptrend line is a good line. It starts here, uh, uh, completes here, and now this is the first test of support of the line. First test of the support of the line, many times hold and 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 uh, and uh, reject price. So that's what we've seen so far. But something's going to happen before May 16th because Bitcoin's going to break through either this line or break through this line, and volatility is likely to accelerate at that point. But until then, we could still chop around for a bit and go up and down. Now we'll take a look tomorrow at uh, the possibility that. This would be the new wedge, and we would still have a bullish wedge, just the shape of it has changed. So I'll look at that more tomorrow. Anyway, that is it for Bitcoin traders. Have a great Friday.